I'm Joel Sanders. This is the Muhammad Ali Center here in Louisville, Kentucky. So you're Webster. Nice to meet you. I'm Joel, and you work here at the Muhammad Ali Center. How long have you been doing this? Uh, just started. You just started. Okay. So do you know a lot about Muhammad Ali? Okay. So uh, Muhammad Ali, as we know, he's one of the greatest fighters ever in the UFC, correct? Yes. Indeed, indeed. What do you know to be his greatest fight? The greatest fight he had would probably be with, um, let's see. Chuck Liddell? Uh, I didn't think so. But you didn't think he was very good with Chuck, no? No, I thought it would have been um, well, so Randy, Randy Couture. That was a strong one, wasn't it? When I was watching basically, I'm trying to remember. Mm -hmm. uh, That's one with the uh, Stone Cold and Steve Austin. That was a great fight. Mm -hmm. What year did Muhammad Ali die? He did. Uh, Is he still he's still alive? Yeah. Is there anything in the exhibition about whether Muhammad Ali had a George Foreman grill? There's nothing here about that. You know George Foreman had his own grill. <laughs> Do you think Muhammad Ali should have his own grill too? Might as well. If he had one, would you buy it? And what would you what would you cook on it? Hamburgers. You would make hamburgers on your Muhammad Ali grill. Why don't you start a petition to get a Muhammad Ali grill made? I'll sign. I'll sign it. Okay. I'll sign it. Will you sign it? No, I won't. Sign he it. won't sign it. But we'll, we'll, okay, we'll, we'll go. I think it should be a punch bowl. I think it should be a Muhammad Ali punch bowl. A punch bowl. Yeah. You put punch in the wordplay. Always the wordplay with you. No, it's not. No, it's it not, is. You're talking not. about the two different types of punch. You. It is wordplay. <laughs> it's always doing wordplay. Do you like wordplay? Whitney, it's okay. what's your favourite wordplay joke? I don't know. See, that's a great picture. <laughs> that's a great picture. Look at us beating each other up. And it's, it's cheaper this way, isn't it? Yeah. This way is much cheaper. <laughs> much cheaper this way. It'll be ten dollars if you like to purchase. But ten dollars? How much is it just to film it? Awesome. Just remind me, was it okay? Did you say it was okay to film here? I can't remember. Upstairs, no. Well, that's it. This was the Muhammad Ali Exhibition Center. I've learned a lot about him today. Don't know when his next fight is going to be. Hey, uh, what do you think about the uh, the uh, the whole history of him with growing up here in, in Louisville? And uh, did you know about that? Did you know he, that he grew up in Louisville? Did you know? Well, I know that now that he grew up in Louisville. Uh, well, I just wonder how he managed to stay in such great shape when you've got places like Lynn's Paradise Cafe uh, and all that fried chicken around. You know, I just think that he, there's a real. Uh, I think for me that's what really shows the strength of Muhammad Ali, that he was able to live in a town which is built on fried chicken and Lynn's Paradise Cafe and still become the greatest of all time because if I lived in this town I would be so fat. Yeah, what do you think about the, uh, the uh, weather? What do I think about the weather? What the hell's that got to do? Well, the weather? I don't know what questions to ask you, man. shitty here, man. You know the weather's shitty. And you it. keep saying, oh, yeah, come back in the summer. You don't have a summer here. Don't try shitting me that you have a summer. You just want me to come back so I can... Hey, you're getting off like... subject, man. What about what do, you, what do you think Ali would think about the weather? What do I think Ali would think about? I think he'd move to Britain. That's what I think he'd do. <laughs> I think he'd move to Britain. He'd... All right, okay. I'm, I'm, like this. I, I, don't know, I don't know how he got that tan, frankly. <laughs> I don't know how the hell he got that tan.